COVID-19 continues to take its toll on the state of Indiana, state officials are now working to slow its spread. One method being used is a statewide stay-at-home order, which was extended just before midnight on Monday. Demetri Sanders joins us now with some of the changes that were made to that order to further ensure the safety of Hoosiers everywhere. Demetrius. Mike, they are words that have been echoed by several officials and medical professionals over recent days. The next two weeks could be some of the most important in the fight against COVID-19. And Indiana, Indiana officials are making adjustments to help reduce the virus's impact locally. On March 23rd, Governor Eric Holcomb announced a stay-at-home order that would last from March 25th until April 7th. This order encouraged Hoosiers to only leave their home for essential business. Some of these businesses include grocery stores, pharmacies, emergency services, and gas stations, among others. On Monday, April 6th at 11.59, an extended version of this order went into effect that will keep non-essential businesses closed until at least April 20th. But this order does come with some changes. Retail businesses that offer necessities such as food can remain open, but only if these types of businesses limit the number of customers in stores at one time, limit their hours, and follow social distancing and sanitation guidelines. Beginning April 7th at 11.59, other retail businesses that do not offer necessities can remain open, but only for call-in ordering with delivery or curbside pickup. These guidelines were put into place as state officials say the next two weeks are critical. During a Tuesday afternoon press conference, State Health Commissioner Christina Box says she believes that Indiana has not reached its peak numbers for COVID-19 yet. This comes as state officials say the 173 COVID-19 deaths reported across the state has surpassed the average number of deaths that occurred during flu season. Moving forward, Governor Eric Holcomb is asking all Hoosiers to hunker down and to only leave home if necessary. Holcomb says the state does have a plan in place that will go to the extreme to prevent the spread of coronavirus, but he hopes the situation doesn't get there and the actions of the public in coming days will help determine that. Now, Governor Holcomb also says with warmer weather coming in, he will increase enforcement to limit outdoor gatherings if it becomes needed. Mike.